Hey guys, do you think I can survive night 5 on Five Nights at Freddy's 1? Find out in today's episode. Hello guys, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Today I'm going to be trying to survive the fifth night. And apparently this is a very difficult task as I've tried it before in off mine and Corey's FNAF theory video. But I thought I would just do one video just to see if I can get past the fifth night. As I've never progressed this far in the game before. It took me a while to get past night four. And let's see if we can get pa past night five. As I think this will be pretty interesting. Now, I, when I edit this video, I am going to keep the mouse on the screen just so you guys can just sort of see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got phone guy on the phone. See what he has to say. Okay, some static. Okay, Bonnie's already gone. Now, apparently, when you're playing this game, you're not meant to check the cameras too often. The main ones you want to check is Foxy, and that's about it, and the shoe stage in the very beginning of the game. Let's see, so Chica's already gone, and I'm guessing Chica is... Hmm, where is Chica? Chica, you stupid little chicken! Okay, I've just said that, and now I bet Chica's gonna come and get me. Yeah, I genuinely do not know where Chica is. Oh, wow. So I call Chica a stupid little chicken and then she's literally right outside my door. Okay, great one Morgan. Best idea you've ever had in your life. Now I can hear Chica's head doing that weird motion glitchy thingy. Now, okay Chica's now in the dining area. And I think if you watch the if you watch the last video that me and Corey made, uh, I am gonna keep the door closed when it when, when I when I don't know where Freddy is because usually that means Freddy is gonna get you. As far as I can tell, anyway. Okay, Chica's in East Hall. Foxy's not even out yet, and Freddy is there in the dining area. That's all good then. Now, I think for you, for you guys, uh, put some comments in the description below because I don't think I'm going to get past this night five. I hope I don't some jinx myself there, but definitely if you know any good tips, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I definitely will read all of the comments on this video if we get, you know, some decent ones to give me some tips and tricks. Okay, Freddy's over there. And also, guys, if this video gets enough publicity, I will hopefully be, be able to try the 2020 mode. As apparently that is meant to be really, really difficult, as... Since I've not got, got past Night 5 yet, I don't actually know how difficult it is, because I've never tried it before. Okay, 6 and I'm set power. Oh, Bonnie. Well, that kind of made me jump there. And hopefully sometime in the future, guys, I should be getting a webcam. So we'll be able to do a face reveal, for one, and face cam during the... Horror games. Definitely feel free to put in the description as well whether you enjoy me playing horror games because it's something we, me and Corey on the Sea Cups, haven't really done much of before besides in our theory video. So if, definitely, if you are interested, definitely feel free to post some comments in the description below. And yeah, I'll definitely be happy to play a few more horror games. That sounds like Freddy, so I'll just close the door there. Bonnie's disappeared. Alright then. Alright. Alright, and also just in case you guys didn't know, you can if you click on Freddy's nose, it does make a squeaking sound. Which I think is pretty cool. Alright, where's all the animatronics at? I'm just gonna do a quick skim through, as it definitely doesn't hurt to do one every every once in a while. Chica's in there. Got no idea where Freddy is. Now a few tips guys. I, I believe uh I'm sure Chica's closer to the camera than she was before. That was kind of weird. Yeah, I better keep off the cameras because I don't want to run out of power on the fifth night. As that would be pretty terrible. Oh. 
That does not sound too good because I can remember that is literally the sound that, that I heard before uh, Freddy jump scared me. So definitely that ho ho sound is not. It's definitely the opposite of music to your ears. If you get what I'm saying. Bonnie's in there. Oh. Freddy's outside my door and just for safety reasons I am going to keep it closed. Because I honestly do not trust Freddy when he is right there. I'm going to keep it open for a little bit, but not for lo much longer. I'm kind of scared now. Alright, Freddy's not moved. I can hear an animatronic. Bonnie's there. Foxy's still there, not moved yet. That's, that's pretty good. Now, I think at this point I'm running a little bit low on power for where I'd like to be. Because I like to have 20% power per hour. It just seems to work pretty well for me. Now, Freddy's now gone back, so I'm going to put up that door. Seems quite unusual that only one animatronic has come to attack me. Usually you get a lot more. And I definitely think I've got to now think about conserving power. I can hear an animatronic. Alright, now I've got to look out for Bonnie. Because he looks, he looks kind of angry down there at camera TV. With his little glitching head. Alright, now I believe I have been told that the more you look at an animatronic, the less likely they're going to move. So if I keep looking at Bonnie, hopefully that means it's less likely to move. Although, I think Bonnie's outside my door now. Nope. Okay, has Bonnie not moved yet? Oh, Fox looks like he's about to though. Oh, Chica, go away. Yeah, Foxy definitely looks like he's about to run any second. Right, put that door back up. I can hear Freddy, that's never a good sound. Oh, Bonnie. Alright, because I'm trying to conserve power, I'll keep that door up. Freddy's outside my door again. Freddy, go away! He looks pretty angry, actually. So, uh, open the door. Is that a good idea? I think instead of looking at Foxy, I'm going to keep a watch on Freddy. Just because he looks like the son of a gun that's going to get me in this game. Alright, where's Foxy? Foxy's still there. And we're now closing in, hopefully, on... Um... 5am. Hopefully we're close to 5am. Otherwise, Freddy's gonna get us. And... Okay, Chica's there. Yep, yeah, that's definitely not a good sign. I believe we're on 5am. Now, unfortunately, the, um... The recording bar is going over the, um... The night. So I can't actually see the night at the minute. Which is kind of annoying. Now Freddy's out there. I bet you Freddy's gonna get me. Freddy definitely seems like the one that's gonna get me. Now, I don't care if Bonnie's there. Actually, I think I'm just gonna open the door. Oh. Because Bonnie won't actually attack you until you pull up the camera. Just a word of advice. So if he does come in... Oh, Freddy, come on, please roll over to 6am, please. Now, while he's doing this animation and the music's still on, that's a good sign. Uh oh I think he's in the room. Uh oh. Ah, oh, Freddy! So close. I genuinely can't believe how close we got there. I think definitely in our first try that we got a little bit closer. And now Mike Schmidt appears to be... Uh... Inside Freddy by the looks of it. Which is not the best. Right, so we'll have one more go, guys, and then I think we are going to have to wrap up the episode. Unfortunately. So I think now I've sort of learnt from my mistakes a little bit, so I definitely need to keep off the cameras. Unless necessary. Like, for example, when Freddy's outside your door, you definitely want to keep on the cameras. Now, has one of them moved already? Really? Bonnie's moving? Oh my god, Bonnie, can you seriously stop moving? Can you not just stay on the stage and look look pretty? Can you just not do that? Maybe? Considering it? I don't think so. He's, he's moved. 
a supply closet. It's like what? Probably like a few minutes, or in in game time, probably about 20 minutes to pass, and you're already in the supply closet. That is just unfair. All right, Chica's moved. I believe that's Chica. Actually, no, that may have been Bonnie. Actually, I'm probably going to create a massive hate in the comments section now, whether that's Bonnie or Chica. Maybe that's Shadow Bonnie. God knows. Right, I'm definitely not taking my own advice here of staying off the cameras. I hear Freddy, but... Okay, Freddy has moved, actually. Yep, Freddy's now in the dining area. Alright, Chica's outside the door. I, th I thought, like, Chica had moved then. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what's happening? Someone coming to my door? Hello? Someone here? Alright, Chica's mo walked back a little bit. Bonnie got no idea where he is. I believe that's Bonnie, actually. Alright, Foxy's not moved. That's all good. 1am. Here we go. An hour's passed. I definitely agree with Corey's statement, what he said in the theory, though. The fan is definitely the scariest thing in FNAF. Now, I think I know why you said that, actually, because it drains. You're always using power, as you can see with this green bar at the bottom. So I think that's the scariest thing, because you're constantly being drained power with this little light up here and that. I think if you dim the light a bit and turn off that bloody fan, it might actually make the game a bit easier to survive. Just saying. I think that'd be amazing if Scott actually put that in um, this FNAF, like toggleability of the fan. Just so you can turn it off, just because it's using so much power. And also guys, just, just as a little uh, heads up, I may be doing a FNAF 2 video after this. So if you guys would be interested in that, definitely comment down below. Now I don't trust Freddy. I can hear music coming from that room, that's never a good sign. Hello, animatronics? Can I open the door now? I can hear like someone's like animatronics head moving. Right, Chica's in there, and where's Freddy? I genuinely have no idea where Freddy is, so that's why I'm kind of skeptic to open or close that door. I think I'll open it for now. Actually, no. I don't trust Freddy, because I have no idea where he is on the cameras, because Freddy is the sort of person that would sort of sit really far back and, like, not... Like, he doesn't stand there like all the other animatronics do, like Chica, for example. Like, for a start, he just sneaks in your room, and he literally just doesn't even stand there like all the other animatronics do. Well, besides Foxy. Foxy is quite aggressive, I've got to say. Now, I must say I'm quite... Uh... Oh, it's me. What the... Bonnie, you're covering that poster which I want to see. Apparently that means Golden Freddy's going to get you. If you look at that poster, and it turns to Golden Freddy, that like, means you're screwed, apparently. So I really hope that wasn't Golden Freddy, because he will he does crash your game in this. In case you didn't know. All the other all the other animatronics just kill you, but I think Golden Freddy's is the worst. I think he literally crashes your game. Well, he doesn't crash it per se, but he literally makes it just close. Closes the game. So you've not just got animatronics trying to kill you, or you've got animatronics trying to crash your game as well. Alright then, you know, I think that is actually Chica actually, because if Bonnie's there, and I thought, and I thought that was Bonnie, what? What? That was quick! Considering he was like all the way down here on the map, there, and he suddenly jumps to there in one move. Is that not a bit of a big move, Scott? Uh, Scott Games, that is, the developer of the game. Alright, come on, we can do this. 
29% power left and we're at 3 a.m. Now, you know, I think I'm doing worse than what I did before. God knows how I survived night four, though. I, li I literally just, um... Just literally just let it roll over. Like, Freddy was literally out the door, and luckily it just rolled over. Now, Foxy... Oh, my God, and I'm dead. Okay, that told me a little bit by surprise. Alright, so thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And to the conclusion of this video, no, I was not able to survive the fifth night at Five Nights at Freddy's. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye from Peyton Plum.